Assalamu alaikum. I'm Dr. Sadia. Today we'll discuss the abdominal aorta. Abdominal aorta. So uh, the, the main visceral branches of the abdominal aorta, like the celiac trunk, the superior mesenteric artery, which supplies the uh, midgut, and the celiac trunk, which supplies the foregut, and superior mesenteric artery, which supplies the um, midgut, and the inferior mesenteric artery, which supplies the hindgut. So these three arteries are very, very important because uh, the whole of the gut is supplied by three uh, important anterior uh, visceral arteries. Okay, so uh, this is the picture which shows the, uh, the abdominal aorta is coming downward from the aortic hiatus. So this is the aortic hiatus in the diaphragm at the level of the 12th thoracic vertebra. It is coming downward. It is anterior to the lumbar vertebrae. And then it divides into the two common iliac vessels. Okay. So at the, uh, at the level of the L4, this abdominal aorta is divided into two common iliac vessels. And then it comes downward along the medial border of the sauce muscle and divides into the internal iliac artery and the external iliac artery. Okay, so these, these are the three important anterior vessels like the celiac trunk, the superior mesenteric artery, and this is the inferior mesenteric artery, which we have discussed previously. And these are the lateral branches of the abdominal aorta, like the superior, uh, superior, uh, superior ad adrenal artery, and this is the uh, this is the renal artery, this is the testicular or ovarian vessel, lumbar arteries, and the uh, you have inferior phrenic arteries. These are the three, uh, these are the lateral branches which comes uh, laterally from the aorta. And these are the anterior visceral branches which, which we discuss in detail. And these are the two common iliac vessels. Uh, these are the terminal uh, arteries of the abdominal aorta which actually comes at the level of the L4 and which, uh, which again divided into the internal iliac artery and the external iliac artery. The external iliac artery, then it goes downward and becomes the femoral artery. Before it uh, passes through the inguinal ligament, it will give the deep circumflex iliac artery and the inferior epigastric artery. So this is the external iliac artery which, uh, uh, which when it comes downward, uh, beyond the inguinal ligament, it becomes the femoral artery. This is the median sacral artery. So we are moving forward. So this is an abdominal aorta again. So this is the celiac trunk. And the main branches of the celiac trunk, this is the left gastric artery. This is the splenic artery. And this is the uh, common hepatic artery. Common hepatic artery then again divides into the gastro. Uh, this is the right gastric artery. And this is the gastroduodenal artery. So this is the common hepatic artery. This is the uh, left gastric artery. This is the splenic artery. This is the superior mesenteric artery, the branches which uh, goes uh, to the midgut. And this is the inferior mesenteric artery, artery of the hindgut. So these are the three important uh, anterior visceral branches. And uh, these are the lateral branches, like the, this is the suprarenal artery. This is the renal, this is the renal artery. This is the renal artery. This is the testicular and ovarian artery. And uh, lumbar arteries, these are the lumbar arteries. These are the lumbar three to four lumbar arteries, which actually supplies the lateral abdominal wall. And uh, this is the left phrenic artery. So this is the phrenic artery, which goes towards the diaphragm. Okay. Uh, jo hai aapki suprarenal artery. Jo, uh, superior suprarenal artery uh, will come from the phrenic artery. And this middle suprarenal artery, this is the which is comes directly from the abdominal aorta and the inferior suprarenal artery comes from the renal artery so this is the renal artery and the inferior suprarenal artery middle suprarenal artery and the superior suprarenal artery comes from the uh, 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 phrenic artery and the middle suprarenal artery directly comes from the abdominal aorta and the uh, inferior suprarenal artery will come from the renal artery. So these are the important renal arteries which goes towards the kidneys. Okay? And uh, we have suprarenal arteries, we have renal arteries, we have lumbar arteries, we have phrenic artery goes towards the diaphragm. 
and testicular and ovarian vessels, uh, which goes towards the genitals like testes and ovaries. So these are the important vessels of the abdominal aorta and these are the two terminal branches like uh, common iliac arteries, which again divided into the internal iliac and the external iliac. Achha. So this is the abdominal aorta. And the right to the abdominal aorta, we have an inferior vena cava. So this is a this is the pancreas. This is the C of the sorry. This is the C of the duodenum. This is the pancreas, and behind the pancreas, this is the celiac trunk. This is the splenic artery, and this is the left gastric artery, and this is the a common hepatic artery. So this is the celiac trunk, this is the aorta, and this is the superior mesenteric artery, which actually uh, passes over the third part of the duodenum. So this is the superior mesenteric artery passes over the third part of the duodenum and coming downwards. And this is the portal vein. This is a superior mesenteric vein. And this is the uh, sorry, this is the splenic vein and this is the superior mesenteric vein when joins together forms the portal vein. So right to the aorta, we have an inferior vena cava. Adjacent to it, we have a portal vein. And uh, a left to it, we have a uh, jo hai aapka sympathetic trunk. And here we have a thoracic duct uh, uh, on the right side. This is the superior mesenteric artery, which is passing over the third part of the duodenum. Achha, okay. So these are the some relations of the aorta, and this is the figure which shows the branches of the uh, aapka abdominal aorta. So this is the this is an splenic artery which goes towards the spleen. So this is the largest branch of the celiac trunk. This splenic artery supplies the spleen, and it also supplies the pancreas. Majority of the pancreas is supplied by the splenic artery. Achha. The splenic artery, it also supplies the stomach. See, so it gives the short gastric arteries and it also gives the left gastroepiploic artery, which is the branch of the splenic artery. Okay? So this is one of the artery which supplies the pancreas, which supplies the stomach and which supplies the greater curvature of the stomach by the short gastric arteries and left gastroepiploic artery. Okay. The second branch is the left gastric artery. So this is the left gastric artery, which supplies the lesser curvature of the stomach. Okay. So this is the direct branch of the celiac trunk. One is the splenic artery and other is the left gastric artery and other is the common hepatic artery. So this is the common hepatic artery, beta, and it divides into... Uh, this is the common hepatic artery and it gives the right gastric artery. So this is the right gastric artery, which in anastomose with the left gastric artery over the lesser curvature of the stomach. And the other branch of the common hepatic artery is the gastroduodenal artery. So this gastroduodenal artery will divide into two branches. One is the superior pancreatoduodenal artery, which supplies the duodenum as well as the upper part of the head of the pancreas and this right gastro uh, 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 right gastro apoploic artery this right gastro omental or apoploic artery will join with the left gastro apoploic artery which is the branch of the splenic artery and here it uh, these both arteries supplies the gastro uh, jo hai greater curvature the left gastro apoploic is coming from this the splenic artery and the right gastro apoplatic is the branch of the gastroduodenal artery, which in turn is the branch of the common hepatic artery. Okay? Achha. And this common hepatic artery, after giving the gastroduodenal and the right hepatic, becomes the proper hepatic artery and divides into, divides into the right hepatic and the left hepatic. And these both arteries uh, 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 enters into the hilum of the, uh, uh, sorry, in the uh, pota hepatis of the liver. The right, uh, right jo hai aapki hepatic artery will give the uh, cystic artery. So it uh, supplies the gallbladder. Okay, cystic artery supplies the gallbladder. So we have uh, three major branches like the splenic artery, the left gastric artery, and the common hepatic artery. Okay, so this is all about the branches of the celiac trunk. Okay. And the lesser curvature is supplied by the left gastric artery and the right gastric artery. And the greater curvature is supplied by the branches of the splenic artery, like uh, left gastroepiploic, and the right gastroepiploic is coming from the gastroduodenal artery. 
and this is the superior pancreatic duodenal artery uh, and this supplies the upper part of the head of the pancreas and it also, also supplies the duodenum okay and this is the proper hepatic artery which divides into the right and the left hepatic arteries which enters into the porta hepatis and supplies the liver. And the, from the right hepatic artery, this cystic artery will come and supplies the gallbladder. So this is all about the branches of the uh, anterior important uh, branch of the aorta which actually supplies the foregut. Forget and the next important branch. So the, again, this this is the uh, this is the splenic artery which is going towards the spleen. It also supplies the pancreas, the spleen, and the greater curvature of the uh, stomach. Okay, this is the left gastroepiploid branch of the uh, splenic artery. This is the right gastroepiploid branch of the gastroduodenal artery. This is the left gastric artery, the direct branch of the celiac trunk, and uh, and this is the splenic artery and the uh, right gastric artery is the branch of the common hepatic artery. So this is the left gastric artery and the right gastric artery over the lesser curvature. This is the proper hepatic artery. This is the left uh, hepatic artery and this is the right hepatic artery. From the right hepatic artery, the cystic artery will come and supplies the gallbladder. So this is all about the branches of the uh, celiac trunk, which actually supplies the foregut, number one. Achha, okay, okay, this is the, another diagrammatic representation. This is the celiac trunk. Okay? It gives the splenic artery, which goes towards the spleen. Okay? This is, and uh, it gives the, uh, it gives the direct, uh, sorry. And it gives the, this, the celiac trunk will give the splenic artery towards the spleen, it gives the left gastric artery and the left gastric artery will uh, do have anastomose with the right gastric. So this is the right gastric artery. This is the left gastric artery. They both anastomose. They both anastomose at the level of uh, uh, at the le level of lesser curvature, okay? and these are the branches of the common hepatic artery. So this is the liver, this is the common hepatic artery, this is the common hepatic artery, and this is the branch of the common hepatic artery. Okay, beta? And uh, the left gastroepiploic is the branch of splenic artery. So this is the splenic artery, and the left gastroepiploic is the branch of uh, uh, splenic artery, and this is the right gastroepiploic artery, this is the gastroduodenal artery and the right gastroepiploic is the branch of the gastroduodenal artery. Okay? And uh, this is the superior mesenteric artery and this is the uh, superior and inferior pancreatoduodenal artery. The superior pancreatoduodenal artery is the branch of the gastroduodenal artery. Okay? So this, uh, and this is the uh, superior mesenteric artery and this is the aorta. And this is the proper hepatic artery, which divides into the right and the left hepatic artery and enters into the liver. And these are the branches of the uh, superior mesenteric artery, the next important visceral branch, uh, which is coming from the anterior surface of the aorta. So it divides into the iliocolic artery. Pele iliocolic artery. So this is the this is the ileal branch and this is the colic branch. Colic branch goes towards the uh, colon and the iliac branch supplies this, divides into the anterior cecal artery, posterior cecal artery and appendicular artery. Okay? And this is the colic branch and this is the ileal branch. So they combine to form the iliocolic branch. Okay? And this is the right colic artery the descending branch of the right colic artery, anastomose with the iliocolic artery. And this is the ascending branch of the right colic artery. And uh, these all branches, iliocolic, right colic, middle colic, they all anastomose with each other and it uh, forms the marginal artery. So this, this is the marginal arteries. Okay. This is the right colic artery. This is the descending branch, which anastomose with the iliocolic artery. This is the ascending branch which anastomose with the middle colic artery. So this is the middle colic artery. It has a right branch and the left branch. The right branch of the middle colic artery anastomose with the ascending branch of the uh, right colic artery. So here, and this is the right branch of the middle colic. This is the left branch of the middle colic, which actually supply the middle, uh, uh, have two third of the transverse colon. And these are the geogenal and ileal branches of the superior mesenteric artery. 
ठीक है दीज आर दिनल एंड एयर ब्रांचेस ऑफ दुपीरियर मेजेंटेरिक आर्टरी एंड दिस इज द इंफीरियर पेंक्रेटो ड्यूडोनल आर्टरी विच एक्चुअली सप्लाइजेज द लोअर पार्ट ऑफ द पेंट्रियाज एंड इट ऑल्सो सप्लाइजेज द जो है आपका ड्योडेनम ठीक है सुपीरियर अब द ड्योडेनल पेपेला जो है द एरिया ठीक है इन दस जो है आपका सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द ड्योडेनम अब द ड्योडेनल पेपेला दो द एरिया इज सप्लाइड बाय द सुपीरियर पेनक्राइटो ड्यूडेनल आर्ट्री एंड बिलो इट इट इज सप्लाइड बाय द इंफीरियर पेनक्राइटो ड्यूडेनल आर्ट्री ठीक है देन दिस इज द सुपीरियर मेजेंटेरिक आर्टरी विच पास ओवर द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ द जॉर्डनम एंड इट इज कमिंग डाउनवर्ड एंड गिव्स द जॉर्जनल एंड इलियल ब्रांचेस देन इट गिव्स द इलियल ब्रांच एंड द कोलियल ब्रांच कंबाइन टू फॉर्म द इलियोकोलिक आर्टरी ठीक है इट गिव्स द इंटीरियर सिकल पोस्टीरियर सिकल एंड अपेंडिकुलर आर्टरी ठीक है एंड द कोलिक ब्रांचेस विल गो टूवर्ड्स द असेंडिंग कॉलन दिस इज द राइट कोलिक आर्टरी इट हैज अ डिसेंडिंग ब्रांच एंड द असेंडिंग ब्रांच द descending branch in astemos with the eocolic artery and this is the marginal artery and the ascending branch will go upward and it in astemos with the this is the uh, jo hai aapka right uh, jo hai uh, right branch of the middle colic artery and this is the left branch of the middle colic artery which actually supplies is the two third of the transverse colon okay acha so this is the eocolic artery this is the appendicular branch ठीक है दिस इज द इंटीरियर सीकल ब्रांच दिस इज द पोस्टीरियर सीकल ब्रांच समटाइम्स द एंड दिस इज द कोलिक ब्रांचेस ठीक है समटाइम्स द अपेंडिकुलर ब्रांच व्हिच कम्स फ्रॉम द पोस्टीरियर सीकल आर्टरी एज वेल एंड समटाइम्स इट डायरेक्टली कम्स फ्रॉम द इलियल ब्रांच सो दिस दीस आर द दिस दीस आर द डिस्क्रिप्शंस ऑफ द इलियो कोलिक आर्टरी ओके वी आर मूविंग फॉरवर्ड एंड दिस इज द जो है लास्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट ब्रांच इंफीरियर मेजेंटेरिक आर्टरी विच इज विच कम्स फ्रॉम द एंटीरियर सर्फिस ऑफ द डोमिनल एटा एंड इट इज द इंफीरियर मेजेंटेरिक आर्टरी एंड इंफीरियर मेजेंटेरिक आर्टरी जो है दिस इज द लेफ्ट कोलिक आर्टरी ठीक है सो दिस इज द लेफ्ट कोलिक आर्टरी इट गोज अपवर्ड एंड इट गिव्स इट सप्लाइज द रिमेनिंग वन थर्ड ऑफ द ट्रांसफर्स कोलन ठीक है and its descending branch also supplies the descending colon and these are the uh, uh, jo hai sigmoidal four to five sigmoidal branches they all anastomose with each other the ascending branch the descending branch theek hai which supplies the descending colon ascending branch supplies the uh, jo hai remaining one third of the transverse colon and it also supplies the descending colon this is the descending branch of the left colic artery these are the sigmoidal branches of the left colic artery and this is the this is the superior rectal artery so this is the inferior mesenteric artery and it has a left colic artery the sigmoidal 3 to 4 uh, or 4 to 5 sigmoidal branches or the median sacral artery so this is all about the inferior mesenteric artery okay this is again iliocolic artery so this is the iliac is this is the iliac branch theek hai which supplies the terminal ilium appendix anterior sacral and the posterior sacral posterior sometimes the po posterior sacral will give them appendicular artery or sometimes directly come from the ilial branch so this is the terminal ilium this is the cecum and this is the appendix they are all supplied by the ilial branches this is the colic branch which goes and supplies the uh, part of the ascending colon and is this these are the iliocolic arteries this is the right colic artery and uh, this is the descending branch of the right colic this is the ascending branch of the right colic descending branch in astemos with the iliocolic artery and the ascending branch will go upward and in astemos with the right branch of the middle colic so this is the middle colic ठीक है इट एनास्टमोस विद द असेंडिंग ब्रांच ऑफ द राइट कोलिक सो एंड दिस इज द लेफ्ट कोलिक सॉरी दिस इज द लेफ्ट ब्रांच ऑफ द मिडिल कोलिक एंड दिस इज द लेफ्ट कोलिक आर्टरी द असेंडिंग ब्रांच व्हिच एनास्टमोस इज द लेफ्ट ब्रांच ऑफ द मिडिल कोलिक आर्टरी एंड दीस आर द सिग्मोइडल ब्रांचेस एंड दिस इज द दिस इज द सुपीरियर रेक्टल आर्टरी सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द सुपीरियर एंड द इंफीरियर मेजेंटेरिक आर्टरी द सुपीरियर मेजेंटेरिक आर्टरी सप्लाइज द जो है एरिया बिलो द जो है ड्यूडिनल पेपेला ठीक है फ्रॉम द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द ड्योडिनम लोअर डाउन इट्स जो है फ्रॉम द मेजर ड्यूडिनल पेपेला लोअर डाउन इट सप्लाइज द इट इज सप्लाइड बाय द इंफीरियर पेनक्रेडो ड्यूडिनल आर्टरी विच इज अ ब्रांच ऑफ द सुपीरियर मेजेंटेरिक आर्टरी 
it gives the jejunal and ileal branches then it passes uh, jejunal and ileal branches and then it gives the eocolic right colic middle colic so this is the superior mesenteric artery and this is the inferior mesenteric artery okay and so important lateral branches are the superior renal vessels which surprises which supplies the suprarenal gland and the renal arteries this renal artery and the suprarenal arteries are very important acha the sometimes the suprarenal arteries are th three in number like the left superior uh, jo hai adrenal artery and this is the middle uh, jo hai adrenal artery theek hai and this is the inferior adrenal artery so this is the inferior middle and the superior adrenal arteries acha this superior artery superior adrenal artery will come from the phrenic artery theek hai and middle from directly from the aorta and this uh, jo hai inferior adrenal artery will come from the renal artery so these are the renal arteries which going inside the kidney so these adrenal arteries uh, supplies the important adrenal gland so th these are the lateral branches of the aorta acha the uh, sometime this is the renal artery and so uh, the renal artery when it enters the hilum of the kidney it divides into the anterior and the posterior segmental arteries so these are the anterior segmental these are the posterior segmental arteries when it enters four to five segmental arteries when it enters into the hilum of the kidney uh, it uh, jo hai it uh, then it segmental arteries will become the lobar arteries so these are the lobar arteries and it and when the uh, lobar arteries enters between the two pyramids it becomes the interlobar arteries so these are the interlobar arteries which entering between the two pyramids theek hai and these uh, then these arteries interlobar arteries actually wind round the base of the pyramid and becomes the arcuate arteries so these are the arcuate arteries which actually winding round the base of the pyramid and then it becomes the interlobular arteries and these interlobular arteries actually gives the afferent of the glomerulus then the glomerular tuft and then become the efferent of the glomerulus so uh this is the renal artery and the anterior and posterior segmental arteries and then the lobar arteries then lobar arteries become the intersegmental interlobar arteries these interlobar arteries becomes the arcuate arteries and the interlobular arteries uh, and these interlobular arteries goes into the cortex of the kidney theek hai so these renal arteries are very very important and these are the lateral branches of the abdominal aorta we have discussed the three important anterior visceral branches which are going towards the uh, uh, jo hai whole of the gut like foregut midgut and hindgut and then we have discussed the two important lateral branches like the suprarenal arteries and the renal arteries theek hai which actually supplies the two important organs like the suprarenal gland and the renal gland theek hai acha okay acha then the abdominal aorta giving the lateral branches like the testicular and the ovarian vessel these testicular arteries uh, present in the jo hai uh, uh, jo spermatic cord but these are the lateral branches of the abdominal aorta ye dekhe aap this is the ovarian artery which and uh, jo suspensory ligament hai it enters into a suspensory ligament and it supplies the ovaries so these are also ovarian and the testicular arteries are the very important lateral branches like the suprarenal renal testicular and ovarian arteries these are all lateral branches acha okay regarding to the uh, blood supply of the abdominal wall we have discussed many time this is the superior epigastric artery which is the branch of the internal thoracic artery this is the inferior epigastric artery this is the branch of the uh, jo hai aapki external iliac artery this is the deep circumflex iliac this is also the branch of the external iliac artery so external iliac artery is also a branch of the common iliac artery ठीक है तो ये दोनों ब्रांचेस देखकर डीप सर्कम्प्लेक्स इलियक आर्टरी एंड द इंपीरियर एपेगेस्ट्रिक आर्टरी इट विल गो बियॉन्ड इंग्वाइनल लिगामेंट एंड बिकम द फेमोरल आर्टरी ठीक है अच्छा सो दीज आर द लंबर आर्टरीज so these three to four lumbar arteries supplies the lateral part of the abdominal wall theek hai these are the uh, these three to four lumbar arteries are the lateral branches of the 
जो है आपका एबडोमिनल एटा एंड इट सप्लाइज द जो है लेटरल वॉल ऑफ द एबडोम एंड दिस दीज सुपीरियर एंड द इंपीरियर एपेगेस्ट्रिक आर्टरी सप्लाइज द मिड लाइन रीजन ऑफ द एबडोम अच्छा इंटरकोस्टल आर्टरीज उसके इंटरकोस्टल आर्टरीज विच आर द ब्रांचेज ऑफ द डिसेंडिंग थोरासिक्योटा ठीक है सो दीज लंबर वी आर इंटरेस्टेड इन द लंबर आर्टरीज बिकॉज लंबर आर्टरीज आर कमिंग फ्रॉम द जो है दीज आर द लेटरल ब्रांचेज ऑफ द एबडोमल एटा दीज आर कमिंग फ्रॉम द एबडोमल एटा सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर डिस्कसिंग द एबडोमल एटा वी आर मच इंटरेस्टेड इन द ब्रांचेज ऑफ द लेटरल ब्रांचेज ऑफ द एबडोमल एटा सो ये लंबर आर्टरीज के साथ साथ मैंने आपको सारी ब्लड सप्लाई दोबारा बता दी है ओके एंड द लास्ट इज द इंफीरियर एपिगेस्ट्रिक आर्टरीज ये देखिए सुपीरियर एपिगेस्ट्रिक इंफीरियर एपिगेस्ट्रिक ठीक है दिस इज द ब्रांच ऑफ द एक्सटर्नल आर्टरी इंटरनल थोरेसिक आर्टरी ठीक है और ये जो है आपका इंटरकोस्टल आर्टरीज लंबर आर्टरीज दिस इज द डीप दिस इज द डीप सर्कम फ्लैक्स इलियर एंड दिस इज द इंफीरियर एपिगेस्ट्रिक दीज आर बोथ ब्रांचेज ऑफ द एक्सटर्नल इलियर आर्टरी एंड सप्लाइज द लेटरल पार्ट ऑफ द इंग्वाइनल लिगमेंट Inguinal area, and then it becomes the femoral artery. When the external ilia goes down beyond the inguinal ligament, the name changes, and it becomes the femoral artery. Acha. So this is the inferior phrenic artery. This phrenic artery is also a lateral uh, branch of the abdominal aorta. So this is the diaphragm. This is the aortic opening at the level of the T12, and the aorta is coming downwards over the lumbar vertebrae, and uh, the aorta. when it comes through the aortic opening of the diaphragm it gives the branch or blood supply to the diaphragm as well so this is the inferior phrenic arteries which goes towards the diaphragm ye and this is the aortic opening dekhiye aorta niche aa raha hai aur ye phir isko blood supply de rahi hai aorta so these these are also the lateral branches of the aorta phir dobara ye dekhiye superior epigastric इंफीरियर एपिगेस्ट्रिक ये आपका जो है रेक्टस एबडोमिनस ठीक है ये आपके जो है लंबर आर्टरीज यहाँ पर आपके होंगे इंटरकोस्टल uh, आर्टरीज ठीक है ये आपकी फेमोरल आर्टरी यहाँ पर आपका होगा डीप सेकंड फ्लैक्स इलियक आर्टरी यहाँ पर इंफीरियर एपिगेस्ट्रिक दिस इज द ब्रांच ऑफ द एक्सटर्नल इलियक आर्टरी ठीक है इसी तरह फिर फेमोरल आर्टरी विल गिव एनदर ब्रांच इल सुपरफिशियल सेकम फ्लैक्स इलियक आर्टरी सुपरफिशियल एपिगेस्ट्रिक ठीक है वो नीचे लोअर एबडोमिनल पार्ट को सप्लाई करेगी सुपरफिशियल एपिगेस्ट्रिक आर्टरी ठीक है सुपरफिशियल एक्सटर्नल पुडेंडल वो फिर जेनेटल्स को रूट ऑफ द जेनेटल्स को सप्लाई करेगी सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द जो है एबडोमिनल एटा इट हैज थ्री इम्पॉर्टेंट विसरल ब्रांचेस व्हिच वी हैव डिस्कस्ड हमने विसरल ब्रांचेस के ब्रांचेस को भी डिस्कस कर लिया फिर हमने लेटरल ब्रांचेस को डिस्कस किया सुप्रा रीनल फिर रीनल ठीक है उसके बाद इंफीरियर फ्रेनिक इंफीरियर फ्रेनिक विल गो टूवर्ड्स द डायफ्रेम उसके बाद सुप्रा रीनल फिर रीनल फिर टेस्टिकुलर ओवेरियन फिर लंबर आर्टरीज सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द लेटरल ब्रांचेस ऑफ द एबडोमिनल एटा थैंक यू सो मच